What kind of engine can power a haul truck the size of a house? Run nonstop for 30,000 hours and still ask that all you got? One name, Cummins KTA-19. It's not just an engine, it's a diesel warhorse. And if you've ever wondered what kind of brute force keeps America's industries running when failure is not an option, you're in the right place. By the end of this video, you'll know why the KTA-19 has become a living legend in oil fields, marine fleets, mines, and beyond, and why it might just be the last engine standing when the dust settles. Let's dive in. ACT-1, the legend begins. Picture this, it's the 1970s. Cummins is already dominating the diesel world, but they want something bigger, tougher. A long-life engine that could handle extreme loads without breaking a sweat. Enter the KTA-19, part of the renowned K-Series. The K stands for the block design. The T means turbocharged, and the A, that's for aftercooled. Put it together, and you've got a high-horsepower, low-maintenance beast with a thirst for diesel and a reputation for reliability. This thing isn't just powerful, it's consistent. Rated anywhere from 500 to 700 horsepower, the KTA-19 delivers relentless torque with a broad power band, ideal for pulling, pushing, or powering through the roughest conditions on Earth. Mining trucks? Check. Oil and gas drills? Check. Tugboats, locomotives, emergency backup generators? Check, check, check. Here's a fun fact. The KTA-19 is so reliable, it's often rebuilt instead of replaced, sometimes three or four times in its lifetime. That's not an engine. That's an investment. Pattern interrupt. Now, quick question. Have you ever had a machine so tough it outlived the equipment it was installed in? Yeah, the KTA-19's done that. Multiple times. ACT-2. What makes it unstoppable? Let's break down what makes this engine nearly indestructible. First off, it's massive 19-liter displacement. This isn't your pickups coming 6.7. This is next level. The forged steel crankshaft, high-strength connecting rods, and precision balance components all work together to create a low-stress, long-life design. It's got individual cylinder heads, one per cylinder. Why does that matter? Easy maintenance. You don't pull the whole top off for repairs. You work on just what's needed. And let's talk fuel. The KTA-19 uses Cummins PT, pressure time, fuel system. It's precise, it's responsive, and it helps deliver more bang for your diesel buck. Even at 19 liters, this engine can still run efficiently, especially when you consider the cost of downtime in industries that rely on it. Oh, and this thing thrives in extremes. From minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit in the Alaskan winter to 120 degrees Fahrenheit in desert heat, the KTA-19 doesn't blink. It's built to run 24-7, often in remote places where reliability isn't just nice. It's life or death. Pattern interrupt. You ever heard a mechanic say, I hope this engine doesn't start? No. That's because when you're working with the KTA-19, you actually expect it to fire up no matter what. ACT-3, why it still matters today. So why is the KTA-19 still relevant today, decades after its debut? Because Cummins didn't just build an engine. They built a platform. The KTA-19 is still supported with new parts, modern upgrades, and electronic management options. You'll find them in rebuilt generators, repowered vessels, and heavy equipment that refuses to die. And let's not forget, reliability saves money. When your engine lasts 30,000 hours between overhauls, that's less downtime, less replacement cost, and fewer headaches. It's not fancy, it's functional. And in industries where uptime is currency, the KTA-19 still cashes in. Cliffhanger. But here's the real question. Is this engine on its way out, or is Cummins planning to push it even further into the future? Hybrid upgrades, emissions retrofits, next-gen parts. There's more coming than most people realize. In our next episode,